Hello, welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We're doing a cut test with the TRM Bulldog. This is a new release from TRM. It is a crossbar locked knife, um, very similar to the Neutron 2. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much the Neutron 2, but a little thicker blade stock and with a crossbar lock and a, you know, deployment hole instead of the thumb stud. Um, we're starting off with a double thickness cardboard. This is in Magna Cut blade steel. It's got a nice choke up spot. Let's start with the grain the easy way. And it's gliding through pretty well, man. You know, it is thicker blade stock than the Atom and the Neutron 2. Um, and you could, you could tell. Um, the Atom and Neutron 2 are just mega slicers. But that doesn't mean this isn't a good slicer. This Bulldog is a good slicer, but you know. The tear or the uh, the Adam and Neutron two are just insane slicers. So uh, there's that. But the blade shape is almost identical to the Neutron two. Uh, so if you like that, you're gonna like this probably as far as uh, blade geometry goes. It's pretty much the best blade shape. <laughs> it's super versatile. We could do really good utility cuts, and we have the belly that we need to do all kinds of. Uh, cutting down on a surface as you'll see here in a minute when we get to the leather and the, and the rope. Still on that double thickness stuff. And yeah, you can see utility cuts are a breeze for this thing. Such a good blade shape, man. I just love it. It's sort of a Spyderco-esque blade shape and uh, that, that's another reason I love Spyderco is their blade shapes are just perfect. They're designed to be good at everything. Let's cut up this uh, old leather glove here. Let's roll her up. Yes, I am wearing overalls. I'm very excited about it. See how we're rocking back on that belly? Starting at the tip, kind of rocking back, pinching that material and just slicing it, baby. Really nice clean cuts. And really easy. All right, next up, it's the Cecil rope time. Here's where the belly is coming in handy again. Starting the tip, kind of rocking back, and this thing is popping. It's popping that rope. Look at that. Oh yeah, and the factory edge on this thing was insanely sharp. Like really, really sharp. Let's cut some of this rope. Easy, piece of cake. So like I said earlier, you can tell that the blade stock's a little thicker on this knife. Just as it's passing through material, it's not passing through as easily as the Neutron 2 would. Um, but you know, it's a, it, it's more of a heavy duty knife, you know, it's got a, a heavier duty locking mechanism and a little bit heavier duty blade. Some rubber tubing here. All right, what's next? Let's try some of this, like, uh, I don't even know what you'd call this. It's like, it's like a really hard, plasticky kind of rope. Tough to get through. But we're doing it. All right, what do we got? Is it time to test our edge yet? I think it might be. Yeah. Let's see how our edge held up. Okay, yeah, we're still cutting paper. 
it's tearing a little bit at the end of the cut um so yeah it's definitely dulled a little but we're still cutting paper it's not as sticky not very sticky sharp anymore um let's give it a little strop rooney Do I like this knife? Uh, I do. Um, I'm just not, I'm really not much of a crossbar lock fan. Um, I would rather it have been a, um, a liner lock, but at that point it would be pretty much a Neutron 2 with thick blade stock. So, eh, I don't know. Um, I almost kind of wish they had done something a little different. Uh, with the design, you know, uh, the Neutron's already amazing, so obviously this is going to be amazing, but something new would have been kind of nice. I don't know. Let's get out the edge killer rope, see how many times we can get through this stuff. It's really hard on edges. And wow, that first cut was really easy to get through. Are we still cutting paper after the first one? Yes, we are. Let's go for round two. Definitely harder to cut through this time around. But we made it. And I have a feeling that might take the edge away. Oh, no, we're actually still cutting paper. Um, you know. Not well, but we are still cutting paper. So that's pretty good, man. You know, they, they do well with their Magna Cut. It's usually 63 HRC, right around there. Um, personally, I'm kind of over Magna Cut. Um, I wish they would... I mean, even 20 CV, you know, my, my shadow is in 20 CV. And that thing holds an edge like crazy. So I kind of wish they would go back to that. Um, and... They've even said that they uh, they don't really love Magna Cut either, but uh, that's just what everyone wants right now. It's the fad, you know, and it's not dying out. I thought maybe it would by now, but it's really not. Uh, Magna Cut's fine. It's fine. I don't love it, though, you know, um, so whatever. Uh, the edge retention on, on this knife is pretty darn good, though. I mean, it's going to be great for day-to-day -day stuff. So pretty much if you love crossbar locks and you like the Neutron 2 uh, design, you're going to really like this. Um, for me, it's definitely not my favorite TRM. My favorite TRM is the Neutron 2. Probably always will be. But this thing did well, man. It cut nicely. Performed well. So there you go. Please subscribe and like the video before you leave. Thank you.